Hello students, in the second video of partial differential equations, uh, we are going to discuss on the form in the PDE by eliminating the arbitrary constants. It's a continuation of the first video. Okay. In this video, I am choosing the first problem like this. Form the PDE by eliminating the arbitrary constants a comma b from z is equal to x y plus y into root of x square minus a square plus b. Consider the given equation as number 1 and differentiating partially with respect to x, we will get dou z by dou x is equal to x y is a constant differentiation of x is 1 plus in the, again in the second function y is a constant keep it as it is differentiation of root of x square minus a square is 1 over 2 into root of x square minus a square into 2x uh, plus differentiation of b is 0. Now simplify this expression. Since the given equation is containing z is a function of x and y only, I will use the standard notations dou z by dou x as p and transform the first term y to other side and the remaining terms are uh, x y divided by root of x square minus a square and 2 and 2 get cancelled sir. Now simplify this expression for the value of root of x square minus a square that is equal to x y by p minus y call that as equation number 3. Now, differentiating equation number 1 partially with respect to y, we get dou z by dou y is equal to x plus root of x square minus a square. x is a constant differentiation of y becomes 1 in the both the terms and wherever x terms are there, keep it as it is and differentiation of b becomes 0 and dou z by dou y is nothing but q and transforming to x other side, we will get q minus x is equal to root of x square minus a square. Now, substituting equation number 3 in equation number 2, that is in place of root of x square minus a square, substitute as q minus x, okay, and that is equal to x y by p minus y, cross multiply and simplify that expression, we will get p p minus p x minus q y plus x y is equal to x y, x y x y get cancels, therefore, the final solution is p p is equal to p x plus q y is the required PDE. Since here in the given problem only two arbitrary constants are there, the first order partial differentiation is sufficient. No need to find the second order partial derivatives. Okay, moving to the second problem. So, form the PDE by eliminating the arbitrary constants a b from u is equal to x square plus a square y square plus b square. Now, before you solve in the problem, just observe the given variables. Here, they are given u is a function of x and y and they are not given anything about the z term. That means, here we can't able to use the standard notations p, q or s t. For the derivative of u with respect to x and y, keep it as it is. Do not use p, q or s t notations. Remember this very much important point. Now, considering the given equation as number 1 and differentiating partially with respect to x, we get dou u by dou x is equal to 2x into y square plus b square into and simplify that one for y square plus b square and transform that 2x to other side, we will get 1 by 2x into dou u by dou x. Now, again differentiating equation number 1 partially with respect to y that is we will get dou u by dou y is equal to x is a constant keep it as it is that is x square plus a square differentiation of y square is 2y and b vanishes. Simplify for that expression for x square plus a square we will get 1 by 2y into dou u by dou y. Now, substituting equation number 2 and 3 in equation number 1 we get u is equal to 1 by 2x into dou u by dou x, 1 by 2y into dou u by dou y. Just I am substituting the values of x square plus a square from the equation number 3 and y square plus b square from the equation number 2. Now, transform the 2x and 2y to other side, we will get the final solution as 4uxy is equal to dou u by dou x into dou u by dou y is the required PDE. Remember, in the given equation x, y, z, the three variables are there, then only use the standard notations p, q, r, s, t. Remember that one. Okay. Now, moving to the third next problem. They are asking us to find form the PDE by eliminating the arbitrary constants a, b, c from the equation x square by a square plus y square by b square plus z square by c square. Okay. Here there are three arbitrary constants are there. So, you must find at least one partial derivative. Remember all the partial derivatives is not necessary. At least one partial derivative is sufficient. Okay. 
Now considering the given equation as number 1 and differentiating partially with respect to x, we will get 2x by a square, y is a constant vanishes, z square differentiation is 2z into dou z by dou x, okay, z is a function of x and y, remember that one, okay, simplify this expression for x by a square is equal to minus pz by c square, one more step, I will simplify this expression, that is just I will transfer to x to other side, we will get 1 by a square is equal to minus pz by x c square. Now, differentiating with respect to x, equation number 2 partially we get, remember I am differentiating equation number 2 here, that is differentiation of x is 1, so 1 by a square minus 1 by c square is a constant, keep it as it is, p is a function of x, z is also function of x, so apply the product rule, first function p as it is, differentiation of z is dou z by dou x, second function z as it is, differentiation of p is dou p by dou x, so that implies 1 by a square is equal to minus 1 by c square, dou z by dou x is nothing but p and remember the value of dou p by dou x is r dou p by dou x is nothing but dou square z by dou x square. Okay. Now, I have already have the value of 1 by a square. So, directly I will substitute in the above equation. So, that is from equation number 3, so in the place of e 1 by a square substitute minus p z by x c square, c square c square get cancels. Finally, we arrive at the final solution p z is equal to x p square plus x z r. So, in this problem, I am not touched the differentiation with respect to y. You can able to go like this also, differentiating equation number 1 with respect to y partially. So, get, uh, just copy the whatever the steps you are getting, again differentiate equation number 2 with respect to y partially, we will get the final solution as qz is equal to yq square plus yzt, you will get it. Okay. So, in any manner you can able to solve it, okay, I told more than two arbitrary constants are there means at least one second order partial derivative is sufficient. So, that is second order partial derivative is nothing but R, we already used that one, okay. This is not a particular uh, rule that to solve all the problems like this only, the logic will change as to problems to problem, okay. Just concentrate on eliminating the constants, I want to eliminate A, B, C that is. So, I need not be required to find the value of 1 by B square, 1 by C square and substituting in equation number 1, that is not necessary. From 2 and 3, is it possible to eliminate the constants, we can able to finish off by using 2 and 3, but in 2 and 3, I have A square and C square also, so I cannot able to eliminate A and A, C there. So, that is why I differentiated one more time, I found the value of 1 by A square, if I substitute here A square is eliminated and C square is remaining, so C square, C square get cancels, so directly we get the solution by using the uh, partial differentiation dou z by dou x and dou square by dou z x square. Okay. And this logic is not uh, common for all the problems, that is problem to problem, it has to be changed as it is. Okay. Now moving to the next problem. Form the PDE by eliminating the arbitrary constants a comma b from z is equal to a log x square plus y square plus b they are given. So, call the given equation as number 1, Co differentiate partially with respect to x, we will get dou z by dou x is equal to a into differentiation of log is 1 by x square plus y square into differentiation of x square is 2x. Observe the number of constants here, only two constants are there for first order partial derivatives are sufficient. Okay. Now, dou z by dou x is nothing but p and simplify the expression for a, the constant. So, in a is equal to p into x square by y square by 2x, we will get it. Now, differentiating equation number 1 with respect to y partially, we will get dou z by dou y is equal to a by x square plus y square into 2y and again simplify this expression for a, we will get q into x square plus y square by 2y. Now, observe the equation number 2 and 3, RHS is same. So, now equating the uh, LHS that is equating equation number 2 and 3, we will get p x square p into x square plus y square by 2x is equal to q into x square plus y square by 2y, x square plus y square will get cancels, 2 and 2 will get cancels, we will get p by x is equal to q by y. Now, simplify this expression, we will get p y minus q x is equal to 0 is the final answer. Now, addition to this, I am given the another 5 assignment problems, you need to work out carefully all the problems, submit within the due date through Edmodo only. 
so there are six problems i have given here the first one is straightforward easily you can able to see the second one is similar to the fourth one the play the same logic will get the solution third one is straight away you can able to get it that one and the fourth one is just differentiate partially with respect to x and y just see the try to find the value of a easily will get that one and here e power y is there and e power 2 y is there differentiate carefully only with respect to y we can able to differentiate with respect to x it is a constant now find the pdf family of all the spheres whose center lie on the plane z is equal to 0 and having the constant radius r they are given equation intentionally i am not given you need to form the pde sorry we need to form the equation of a sphere whose plane is at z is equal to 0 that means only z axis it is 0 means x and y some value will be there it is not originated at origin it will be the equation of the sphere is not in the origin that is a hint for this question so write the equation of sphere first and then differentiate partially with respect to x and y and then try to eliminate the constants uh, remember r is a radius it's in no need, no need not be eliminating that is like if the r is remaining in your solution let it be as it is no issue okay in the next video we are going to discuss the formation of pde by eliminating arbitrary functions okay that will discuss in the next video And thank you.